the DJI Mavic Mini. Now if you're a surveyor, this is likely not the first drone that comes to mind when you think about doing some survey work. If it's the drone you've got, and the one you want to use, can it do the job? Well, the short answer is yes. The Mavic Mini doesn't come with some of the more refined tools that you would expect to find on DJI's larger drones. Nevertheless, if you have a good idea of the site that you're about to survey, and you put some pre-planning in place, you are still going to be able to pull off a pretty good result. I'm going to be honest. This is only the second time I flew the Mavic Mini. In fact, it's the second time I've flown any drone at all. But that just goes to show you how easy it is to fly. I may not know how to fly, but I do know how I want the data flown in order to achieve the best result possible out of my processing software. My plan here was to fly the project using a grid pattern with at least a 60% overlap in the forward direction from one image to the next. I was also going to aim for a pretty decent side overlap in the images, about 60% again if I could achieve that. I wanted to fly in two directions, so lengthwise down the project as well as across the project. This would just help me later on in data processing, making sure that I could stitch all the images together. So now it was time to actually do the flight. Things didn't go exactly according to plan, but it still worked out pretty well. Now, I hadn't planned how high I was going to fly. Really, I was just going to go ahead and attempt the flight, monitor the progress on the screen of my phone, and judge the grid pattern as I had planned it out in my head. I took off and went up to an altitude of about 45 meters above the ground and off I went down the line on the grid pattern. So you'll see in this example, the grid didn't exactly go as I had planned it, but I had enough overlap to pull off the processing. Of course it worked. All the processing went as well as could be expected. I was able to produce a two centimeter resolution orthophoto as well as a pretty high quality DSM. There were absolutely no troubles in aligning the images at all, and processing was simple. At the end of the day, I also wanted to have a look at the 3D modeling capabilities of the Mavic Mini. So I decided to do a manual flight of the little farmhouse at the top of the property. This was done by flanking each of the four sides of the house and capturing the images as I went along. The result? Pretty good. The Mavic Mini seems to be the little drone that just keeps on giving. Sure, it's not necessarily the drone that you're going to go out and buy for the purpose of doing survey work. But if it's what you've got to use at the time, will it pull the project off? Yes, sure it will. It's logic going to come down to how is the project flown, and after that, how well can you process the data that you receive? There's no automated or built-in functions made by DJI themselves. However, there are a few add-on products that are starting to become available in this market segment, and I'll post some links to those in the description below. 